All right, let's go through part two of Anna's question here. Uh, so how can you get lender credits? Um, so lender credits are basically all about your interest rate. Okay, so think about it like golf. So when you play golf, if you hit par for a course, it's almost like a zero score, right? You hit par, so it's you hit right on where you're supposed to be hitting. So uh, interest rates are given in the same way. They're given at what's called a par rate based on the risk of the loan. So for instance, uh, let's say that we had a loan and you were given a par rate of 4%. So it means because of the loan's risk, whether it was super risky or not super risky, it was given a 4% rate for $0 in cost. So what you could do is you could actually buy down the rate, meaning that if you paid more money, you could get a lower rate. And inversely, uh, you could increase the rate and receive money at closing. That's called a lender credit. So lender credit is where you're actually gonna take a higher interest rate and receive money towards uh, closing costs. And this can be a really great option if you need some money to pay down closing costs. So you're basically getting money up front, but you're gonna end up paying a higher rate. So you can find what that break even point is by figuring out how much money are you gonna get back versus how much extra money it costs per month. Uh, divide those by each other and that's gonna give you your break even point. So you know that uh, if you find a break even point for three years down the road, then you know that that decision made sense if you're staying in the home for three years or refinancing uh, you know, before three years is up. Okay, so that should give you a good idea of lender credits. They can be a great option, but just know you could forego the lender credits and receive a lower rate.